All right, so I wanted to do a quick update on the Helium token. Um, it's been a crazy month. The token is up 5x since my first tweet about Helium. I still believe in the company. Uh, I still think the token has a lot more potential. I think it can go 10x from here, but that's just my opinion, not financial advice. Now, I just want to talk about what's going on so far with Helium. So we're going to go over to the chart. And right here, so February 22nd was my first tweet on Helium. Uh, mining Helium tokens, right? So since then... At that point, Helium was $4 a coin. So I was figuring out the viability of mining Helium tokens at $4 a coin. And I decided it was still a good, you know, still a good idea. Fast forward a month later, we've gone to the moon. It's crazy, right? So we're at $20 a coin. So the viability of mining the coins is still really great. There's a lot more people coming online. I believe today we're at 25,000 miners. And look at the volume spikes. So you see here, there's not really not much going on, just average volume, average volume, average volume, and then all of a sudden, boom, huge volume spike moving helium up. Then you have an average one, and then a huge volume spike moving up. And on the weekend, a huge volume spike moving up. I'm not sure what is happening here, but I would say one of the key factors is that Helium now has moved into, well, it's a billion dollar coin. And at $4, it was a small cap coin. So there was a lot of investors who didn't really know about Helium or didn't care because they couldn't get in. Now that Helium is a large market cap coin, you're going to have hedge funds and other big companies look into it. And when they look into it, they're going to see that they can also make money mining. So Helium has gone in that period from, if we look a month ago for at historical data, will it be there? So if we look at February 22nd, when I made my first tweet about Helium, the market cap was $259 million. So not very many companies can put in, if you put in $10 million, you're a really significant portion. Today's market cap is $1.5 billion at rank number 70. So that puts Helium up there where big companies can take large positions in Helium and be careful or and be comfortable that they can get out uh, when they want to cash out because there's enough volume to take their, their sell orders, right? So Helium is now moving into a bigger bigger atmosphere but look at dogecoin so dogecoin is a useless meme coin and it's at 8 billion right so helium's at 1.5 billion and you can actually do things like you can actually get uh use out of the coin so i can see at least going to dogecoin's um, value but you know you do have elon musk pumping dogecoin every day and a lot of people believe in the coin but it doesn't do anything right so helium is down here 1.5, I believe they're down here. Weird. There they are. So they're number 69 on the market cap behind Celsius, PundiX, Polygon, Engine. Engine is a solid company. Ethereum Classic. So if I'm looking at this list, there's not very many companies providing a service the way Helium is providing that can actually affect our daily lives. Like GPS tracking, tracking pets, tracking fires, tracking air quality. That's a really important thing um, in our lifestyle. So I'm looking at a crypto credit card at five, five trillion or five billion. I mean, V chain at seven, Dogecoin. So Helium at least, in my opinion, Helium at least has to come up to number 17 where Dogecoin is. Um, so at 8.4, so if you're looking at 8.4 divided by 1.5 trillion or billion, I mean, so 5.6x to get to Dogecoin. I think that's very manageable or Doge comes down, all right? And Helium comes down. So it's one of the two, but if you can look at this chart, this is just a beautiful supernova chart. Uh, next, we're going parabolic. I think we're hitting $50 soon, and that'll be that. So now when you go to, I'm just going to show you a little thing in GitHub. 
So GitHub, there was a author, zero tweets, on February 23rd, he wants to support Helium running a 5G network. Now here's the thing. The long-term goal for Helium network is to be beyond lower WAN and wireless networks, and they could also be an ideal, the business model, not the actual miners that we have, but the business model could be an idea protocol for 5G deployment. People looking to transmit the data would be the stakeholders and miners looking to, de to deploy the non lower ran wireless nodes. This would give us a second opportunity to be miners with 5G. However, I would be careful because I, I think 5G would have you know, some health requirements. So you'd have to, you'd have to watch out for that. Anyways, right? 5G, Wi-Fi. So what would happen is LTE data plans would be $1.50 a gigabyte, Mint Mobile 15 gigabyte bundle, Comcast charges $10 for 50 gigs. That's per month. Now with the pricing, this person suggests that we could do one gigabyte on the Helium network for 50 cents. So if I'm looking at 10 gigabytes of data per month, that'd be five bucks. I don't know if that's actually, you know, accurate or not, but anyways, this person zero tweets, I looked them up. I was like, who are you to just suggest this, right? So he is the founder. Now he has a little bit of self-interest I noticed, right? So he's telling Helium what to do. Right. And then you look at his profile and he's the founder of Freedom 5, an open 5G company. So obviously he wants Helium to come uh, and deploy 5G with him. So you look at his website, Freedom 5, open 5G for everyone. Then you got a guy here, you know, with his 5G thing. And it looks like this person sells 5G miners or 5g boxes so he has a warehouse if that's his warehouse it's beautiful i mean it has the automation if that's his warehouse making stuff that's crazy i don't know anyways he has a miner so he has this 5g gateway miner run on run your own private cellular ne network so helium could become a cellular company by taking this miner and putting them everywhere in people's homes and all of a sudden people's homes become sell your networks. Now, I don't know what the legalities behind this would be. I don't think you can just uh, do that, but it's integrated with Spectrum from Google. So we'll have to see, but it's interesting because the business model does work. So the other thing I wanted to show you in GitHub is if you're wondering what they're doing, like where, you know, you're sitting here, you're looking at the Twitter and you're like, why aren't they announcing cool things? Well, if you're wondering what they're doing, there's actually what's called the Helium improvement process on their GitHub. And you can go to issues. So there's 19 issues that are open right now. So reward adjustments, for example, support on 5G, that's in discussion, payment notes in discussion, validators, that was approved, right? That's gonna be people who can stake 10,000 each in T. Reward splitting. Um, so there's all these different things. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to look at, oh, when I clicked on pull requests, I noticed there's four manufacturers that want to mine or that want to make miners. So imagine if we had four more manufacturers for helium, that would be amazing. So Dragano, um, Broen Wireless Gateway, a third party application and 8Vnet BV. So when you click on their application, you can actually see who they are. So application received, we'll share with the wider community for feedback. I can attest that he is who he says he is, blah, blah, blah. April seems aggressive, six weeks away from today. This person's thinking he can do things in six weeks. That's crazy. Anyways, let's see what their pitch is. So H-E-B-V, oh, they have a website. So they're submitting an application to be approved, right? So they're in the Netherlands and their security solutions company, mainly cryptography. They've developed, um, they've developed on the Helium gate or way already fully functioning. The price would be 600 euros. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> 600 euros. Nah. Anyways, yeah, you can pay 600 euros. It's, it's, but why? When the people are paying $350. So, yeah, that's their application. Cool. You can do that. So why not? Why not give people the you know the app the chance to choose? Just because I don't want to pay six hundred doesn't mean other people don't, right? So uh, now there's a second company, Borrowin Wireless Cellular. So these guys, let's see what they are saying. Bowen Communications. So they're a professional company built in 1999. Wi-Fi BLE TLE LEDs. Here's the products. Customer support, security, proof of identity, capital, they have $25 million. Expected price point, $150, $125. Then they have an LTE version for cell phone, 110. That's great. 10,000 units in 2021, right? So why not? Payment available, right? Credit cards, Visa, AMX, Apple Pay, um, JCB through CalChip. I'm not sure what that means, but yeah. So right now there's four companies competing to be helium mining manufacturers providers so hopefully that will help the rest of the people oh they also already make sensors and these sensors can run on the helium network i'm guessing so yeah there's four companies so you can go to the helium improvement process on their github and see what uh, people are doing i think as helium token owners we should be able to vote on these um, on these issues, I'm not sure, but there is a community call for Helium. So just get involved, right? If, if you believe in Helium, if you want to be uh, part of Helium, get involved. Everyone has a different background. Some people will be able to, you know, shed some light on these things. Um, I think that it's it's good to get involved and put your two cents in and, and vote and message me. Let me know. If you can vote on the Helium Network and you can vote on these things, if we can actually vote on the suppliers, I would like to vote, right, with all of my coins that I have, and I would like all my friends to vote too. So let's help make Helium a better company. It is decentralized to a point, but the network is decentralized because we are providing the network, so we should be able to have an input on what's going on. So that's my update on Helium. Um, as of now, you know, let's keep going to the moon. I would actually, I wouldn't mind if it went back down so I could buy more coins, but if it doesn't, it is what it is. I'm just, uh, I'm happy that I'm a part of the team. And uh, let's keep going. So that's all I have for this update on Helium. Thanks for, you know, thanks for sticking with me. And I know I can be long-winded sometimes, but if, you, if I gave you any value, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share it with your friends. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Um, you know, I just want to grow the channel and grow the community. There's a Telegram group where we're all getting in on and chatting about Helium and other coins. So you can follow me on Instagram, SamGSK. I'm SamGSK on all my platforms, Instagram, Twitter. So yeah, that's all I got for now. Thank you very much.